father in law's huge yeah. race, race fan, That's so I can uh, watch it with him from time to time. I don't need to have that. Uh, There's not nothing doing that. Fantastic. I'm ready for baseball. You ready? Call me to order for those who care to. Please rise for an opening prayer to salute to our flag. Mendez, would you open us in a word of prayer, sir? Thank you. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for uh, our opportunity to gather, Lord. We ask that you lead and guide us to this meeting. And uh, just thank you for the blessing, Lord. It's in your son's precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, Individual with liberty and justice for all. It's a heavily times. It is. Just a couple items. Uh, Council Mr. Christie is out of town tonight. Uh, he is traveling. He is in Chicago. He'll be back hopefully middle of the week. So if you have any business to take with Mr. Christie, uh, please make that later in the week as well. Also, uh, speaking of tonight, uh, speaking of uh, saying the Pledge of Allegiance, uh, we lost one of our great members of the community, uh, James Carter, passed away last night. James was 94 years old. He was a Pearl Harbor survivor. Uh, his name is enshrined over here at the Public Veterans Memorial. Uh, he was 94. Uh, he was born January 28, 1921. And uh, he went uh, into the service and uh, in 1940, 1941, and he finished April 6, 1947, was honorably discharged, and his funeral is this Thursday, 1 p.m. at the Missouri Veterans Cemetery, and that is in Springfield. But uh, in prayer for Mr. Carter and his family, uh, he was actually a uh, aviation mach machinist second class and was at Pearl Harbor when it was bombed. So. Uh, he was a great gentleman. He, we met him over at the Republic uh, Veterans Memorial during the inauguration and still had a sharp mind. Could not hear very well, but boy, he had a sharp mind when he could hear. So, and he let you know it, which was great. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet him. So, anyway, too bad for uh, Mr. James Carter and the family, but uh, uh, served our country, and we certainly appreciate the service that he put in uh, with our United States military. So. On to other items on the agenda tonight, uh, we have a public hearing tonight. I would like to open that public hearing, but at the same time, I'd like to ask, uh, we'll put a continuance on that since we are not fully prepared for that particular public hearing. So we're going to open and we're going to go ahead and immediately announce a continuance of that to the next meeting. Is that correct, Mr. Actually, March, March, March 23rd. 23rd, yeah. If I would wear glasses, uh, I would probably see that. So uh, now it's postponed to March 23rd. I'd like to open it up now to citizen participation. Anyone wishing to speak to anything not on the agenda, uh, please come forward, state your name, sign in, and give us your best three minutes. Seeing none, citizen participation closed. I'd like to have a motion on the consent agenda. Motion. Second. A motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Any abstentions? Motion carries seven to zero. On to financial report. Welcome, John. Can you give us an overview, sir? Thank you, Mary. Good evening, everyone. Um, all I have to present tonight, which I trust everyone has a copy of, is our monthly sales tax worksheet where we continue to track general sales tax, fire sales tax, and our motor fuel taxes. And as always, you will be receiving that every month uh, at the second meeting because that's when I finally have all, have all my numbers together, thanks to the Department of Revenue. Uh, while I'm up here, I would like to address something that I brought up at last meeting. Um, we talked about uh, the way that we present our financial report package at first meeting. Um, is, uh, up to now, it's always been by paper, and I had asked for the uh, council members to uh, give a preference if they would rather have it in an email attachment, in which case we can get that to you before the meeting so that you can prepare any questions and hopefully I get them so I can have answers at the meeting. So uh, uh, to date, we've only had three council members, I believe, respond back, so I'm still waiting to hear from everybody else. 
Okay, thank you. Council members, make sure if you would like that electronically uh, to get with uh, Mr. Dial or uh, Brenda either way and uh, let us know. And um, with respect, uh, I would like to have some kind of a resolution on this uh, by early next week so that we can plan for it accordingly for the March 9th meeting. Fair enough. Council, end of the week. Have that again. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd be the one. I was going to be the first, and I don't know why. I would. Now you're going to be the fourth. I'm going to say, I'm going to have to do it right now. <laughs> and that is the extent of my remarks. All right, thank you. Time. Questions, uh, Council? Questions, comments, discussion on financial report? Anything at all? <coughs> Motion to approve financial report? Motion. Oh, second. Motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Any abstentions? Motion carries 7 to 0. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Mr. Krishy's not here. Mr. Derrickson, anything, no. sir? No, sir. All right. Fantastic. Welcome, Mr. Keeley. Give us the overview, sir. Good evening. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, still some time to get to the Republic Aquatic Center early bird season passes. Uh, those uh, rotted mouse is about 15% discount if you buy them early. Uh, those are on sale through March the 13th at the Republic Community Center. Uh, we're also currently taking registration for our spring and summer adult softball programs. Uh, the games are all the games that are played at Bourbon White uh, Baseball Softball Complex. That's through March the 13th as well. February 26th through April the 2nd is toddler tumbling. It's 5:30 or 6:30 p.m. We held it on Tuesdays and Thursdays. That's for ages two to five years old. Uh, this coming Thursday, uh, February 26th, is a senior movie day. The movie is Bella. Uh, that movie starts at 3 p.m. It's a free event. February 27th is the last day to register for spring adult volleyball. Uh, the games will be played on Thursdays at the Republic Community Center, and the league will begin on March 12th. This coming Monday, March the 2nd, is a first day to sign up for our summer recreation day camp. That's early registration. That's for children ages 6 or completed kindergarten through 12. March the 2nd, 16th, 23rd, and 30th is toddler open gym. Those are Mondays at 10 a.m. for ages 0 to 5 years old. No registration is required, and it's $2 for toddler at the Republic Activities Building. March the 2nd is at the Republic Library. It's March Madness Teen Book Tournament. That's for grades uh, grade 6 through 12. Contact the library for details. March the 6th is the last day to register for junior high and high school basketball. That's for grades 7 through 12. Boys and girls leagues are available. March 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th, and 13th are spring break for public schools. We have our Schools Out program. That's from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And March the 13th through April the 3rd is Todd Academy at 9.15 or 10.30. That's for ages 2 to 5, and pre-registration is required. Right. Thank you, Mr. Keith. Thanks, sir. Appreciate it, sir. Board Commissions and Committee Schedule, Board of Adjustments, March 5th. Capital Improvements, February 25th. Uh, City Council, March 9th, March 23rd. And Planning and Zoning, March 16th. Sir. Sir. Jim Cancel the uh, Capital Improvements. That's uh, correct. Okay. Fair enough. Thank you very much. Capital premise <coughs> has been canceled on February 25th. Thank you, sir. On old business and table items, uh, we have bill number 15-03 that was tabled. We'd like to have a motion to remove bill number 15-03 from the table. Motion. Second. A motion second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Any abstentions? Motion carries. Okay, just pull the microphone down so that it's not touching at the back there. There you go. You are an engineer, right? I'm just asking. <laughs> <laughs> you might pull it down towards you. Is it the, the metal part touching the... Uh-huh. I'm not sure how you're going to... There yeah, you go. Duct tape would probably fix that, David. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I'd like to have a motion to have the second reading of bill number 15-03. Motion. Second. second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Any abstentions? Motion carries. An ordinance of the City Council of the City of Republic, Missouri, amending ordinance number 07 87 as to acceptance of a dedication of public rights of way located in Valley Park, 5th edition. We most have final passage, Bill number 15 03. Motion. Second. Motion and a second. Welcome, Mr. Brock. Give us the overview, sir. Thank you, Mayor. Um, Valley Park 5th Edition was originally platted as a gated community with private streets. City Council has two agenda items tonight that will essentially reverse that, uh, make those streets public as in a uh, typical subdivision. Uh, this is the second read of an ordinance to accept 
the improvements that were built at the time, and then the uh, second agenda item is um, uh, <coughs> resolution, resolution four. Yes, thank you, Mayor. And that essentially is an indemnification agreement that would protect the city in the event uh, that uh, the city council action is challenged. Thank you, sir. Questions, comments, discussion? Mr. Brock. David, would you please go over the streets? And Ch Chief Compton, would you like to chime in on the streets to make sure everybody's aware? We're good. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> the, the, the streets were they were they were built uh, the same standards that all other public streets were. Uh, they weathered uh, these last few years very well. There's no immediate maintenance that is needed. Uh, you'll see later on in the, in the indemnification agreement there are some uh, parts of it, what was intended to be the gate structure that is still out there. Uh, those will need to be removed. However, uh, once that is done, for all practical purposes, you not know the difference between this subdivision and, and one that was public to start with. Any problems with fire trucks in and out? A lot easier to get in and out without the gates than it is with the gates. Thank you. Uh, no issues on our power. Thank you. Questions, comments, discussion? Anything at all? Seeing none, roll call vote. Councilmember Harrelson? Aye. Councilmember Poole? Aye. Councilmember Mendez? Aye. Councilmember Harder? Aye. Councilmember Jones? Aye. Councilmember Wilson? Aye. Councilmember Clinkingbeard? Aye. Motion carries 7-0. Thank you very much. <coughs> well, the next item, I'd like to have a motion to have the second reading of bill number 15-04. Motion. Second. A motion is second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Any abstentions? Motion carries. In ordinance of the City Council of the City of Republic, Missouri, <coughs> excuse me, adopting the job description for the position of a park maintenance supervisor within the Parks and Recreation Department. We motion to have final passage of Bill Number One Four Dash Zero Four or One Five Dash Zero Four. Motion. Second. Welcome, Mr. Keeling. Give us the overview, sir. Certainly. Just kind of in summary of what was presented at last meeting. Uh, this uh, bill would formally adopt the job description for a park maintenance supervisor. Um, the primary duties uh, are directly overseeing and leading our park maintenance team, which is made up of four full-timers and approximately 12 to 14 seasonal part-timers. Uh, those seasonal part-timers are employed late March, early April, all the way through September, October. Uh, and also the other key component of it is developing and implementing park maintenance plans and procedures. Uh, do feel like this would benefit us and uh, increase accountability overall pr productivity and then quality of our workmanship just in general of our out of our park maintenance crews. As you remember, this is a newly created position. However, we're not uh, at this time going to uh, bring on an additional staff member. We're going to fill this by an internal promotion process, uh, hopefully promoting, as, assuming they apply, one of our park maintenance crew worker, one members or worker, two members. We have four of those that could potentially apply for this position. Uh, we have budgeted the maximum possible increase, which is about $6,000. It could be as little as $2,500 salary or up to about $6,000 salary. Thank you, sir. Questions, comments, discussion from Mr. Keeley? Was none of your candidates interested? Thought about that, uh, but we did went ahead and put the feeler out there, and we do have as many as two that are interested. So, But that would put us in a quandary. <laughs> <laughs> Additional questions, comments, discussion from Mr. Keeley? Go ahead, Mr. Wilson. <laughs> I saw you looking at me. I don't know if you're going to raise your finger at me like you normally do, or you're just going to wave. Well, anyway, I have a little bit of a concern. I know you know what's going on, and you know how these pictures help. But the thought occurs to me: before working together all this time, can they show impartiality when it comes time to do the work? Sure. I can assure you we've had those conversations, myself and Wayne, already at, at, up to this point. 
Uh, we do feel like there's going to be a transition period, there's no doubt about it, when you've got four people down there more or less um, on the same level and then all of a sudden one of them gets internally promoted, there's going to have to be a culture change and an environment change and we're going to put that challenge to our workers. However, I do feel like they'll respect the decision that's been made and they will respond to that. Now, that's going to be up to them and, and we will monitor that closely, but we'll put them in a little bit of a, obviously a different and challenging position right off the top, it will. I do, I do, uh, and we'll meet with them regularly to make sure that that does happen. But I do ultimately feel like whoever selected for this position, um, it, we'll choose the right person. I mean, 100% will do that, and I think that in itself will go a long way. That individual will earn respect and uh, and and by working and also by being a quality leader. But there will be a change down there. I mean, that's 100% accurate. Those four guys have been together now there for three plus years all in a full-time role and for all of a sudden one of them to ascend as a supervisor, it's going to be a little bit different. Mr. Killian, what about training, the training schedule? The main training component of this position, and we look ex exhaustively for, for certification. There's just not a lot out there in park maintenance field. Uh, there's arborists, there's playground people, but ones and twos usually get those uh, certain certifications. This one will form fall more under leadership and supervision, and we are prepared to put them through that, those types of trainings and those types of seminars. I think that will best serve this employee in there, um, and it certainly will for our prospective candidates. They do have some leadership, most of them, is, but they need a little bit more training, and I think we can provide that to them over the first six months. So. Okay, thank you. That's a good question, Mr. Wilson. I want to make sure our employees are equipped properly. Yes. Okay. Additional questions, comments, discussion? Seeing none, roll call vote. Councilmember Klinkinger? Aye. Councilmember Wilson? Aye. Councilmember Jones? Aye. Councilmember Harder? Aye. Councilmember Mendez? Aye. Councilmember Pohl? Aye. Councilmember Harrelson? Aye. Motion carries 7 to 0. Thank, Thank you very you. much, sir. On well, the next item, I'd like to have a motion to have the second reading of Bill number 15 05. Motion. Second. second. A motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Any abstentions? Motion carries. An ordinance of the City Council of the City of Republic, Missouri, authorizing the execution of a program services contract with the Missouri Department of Health and Senior Services. Thank you, Brenda. Welcome, Mr. Brock. Let's see overview, sir. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Uh, this contract. Oh. Uh, I knew. I knew the attorney was going to move one time. The most have. Final or second reading or final reading, final pass. Final pass. <laughs> you got me. Just got you off the track. Just all by looking at Brent. I know. You <laughs> gave me the evil one. Need a motion to have the final passage of Bill Number One Five Zero Five. Motion. Second. second. Uh, motion in three seconds. Mr. Brock, please give us the overview, sir. Thank, Thank you, Mayor. Uh, the subject of this contract is the terms and conditions uh, under which the city would accept just shy of $7,000 in grant funds from the Missouri Department of Health and Senior Services. Uh, these funds would be used to replace uh, equipment used in our fluoridation program, uh, which the city's uh, had in operation since 1981. Uh, I do want to provide just a quick update. We received notice today uh, because we are taking advantage of these grant funds we are now eligible to apply for a year's worth of uh, funding to supply a year's worth of actual fluoride, uh, which would equate to just uh, just about five another five thousand dollars towards that program. It was a nice letter received, wasn't it? And it was not from a uh, you know a banker in Algeria. It's the <laughs> real. It's the real. <laughs> Thank you for that uh, distinct overview, Mr. Brock. Questions, comments, discussion been had on that before, have we? Apologies. <laughs> <laughs> <I'll polish> <laughs> Pertinent questions, comments, discussion. <laughs> <laughs> Anything at all? <clears throat> Say none, roll call vote. Councilmember Harrelson? Aye. Councilmember Poole? Aye. Councilmember Mendez? Aye. Councilmember Harder? Aye. Councilmember Jones? Aye. Councilmember Wilson? Aye. Councilmember Clinkingbury? Aye. Motion carries 7 to 0. Thank you, sir. On the next item, uh, we had table resolution number 15 R05. We'd like to have a motion to remove from the table. 
Motion. Second. Uh, motion and second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Any abstentions? Motion carries. <coughs> resolution number 15-R-05, a resolution of the City Council of the City Republic of Missouri authorizing the execution of an indemnity agreement related to the acceptance of the dedication of public rights of way in Valley Park 5th edition. Mr. Brock, you'll see over you, sir. Need a motion on that? It's a resolution. I need a motion. Motion. Second. I need a second. Second. I have a motion and a second. Mr. Brock, give us the over. <laughs> I got him over here hitting me. I don't know what it is. He's scaring me. This is the second agenda item relating to Valley Park 5th edition. Uh, this resolution approves execution and indemnification agreement. Uh, essentially, to protect the city in the event uh, that the uh, decision to accept the public streets is challenged and also to guarantee that. Uh, the uh, uh, remainder of those gates are removed from the right of way. Towards that end, uh, the agreement calls for a cash bond, a thousand dollar cash bond, be deposited to guarantee that that work is done and uh, the developer has submitted those funds. Questions, comments, discussion from Mr. Brock. And that's all. What do you think the total cost will be for that? Uh, it, it should be substantially less than $1,000. That will be, uh, uh, there's uh, two electric pedestals, which Empire will remove at no cost, and a couple of uh, brick columns. Um, we could certainly do it for less than $1,000, but um, I think that was the amount that would keep the developer's attention and keep his motivation at the level it needs to be. Additional questions, comments, discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Any abstentions? Motion carries 7 0. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Brock. On a new business, uh, Bill number 15-06 has been postponed to the March 23rd meeting. Just wanted to let everybody know that. It is labeled on the documents that we have in front of you, but just wanted to uh, ensure that we're all on the same page with that. On other business and resolutions, resolution number 15-R-11, a resolution of the City Council of the City of Republic of Missouri, awarding bids for the supply of bulk materials for the 2015 fiscal year. Would like to have a motion? Motion. Second. Second. Motion and second. Brock, give a seal of you, sir. Thank you, Mayor. This is an annual uh, seal bid process that we go through uh, in order to secure uh, pricing for the entire calendar year for some of our basic products, uh, basic construction materials, quarry products, uh, ready mix concrete, and um, hot mix asphalt. Um, <clears throat> generally, and these are all generally delivered to the job site here in the public. And so, what we typically see is that. Uh, the, the cost for a particular vendor might be the same at each location, so you get the best pricing from those that are located closest to that. Uh, this year's bidding uh, shows that again with uh, Cleverstone being our low bidder for uh, the bulk of the uh, quarry products, uh, Cake Concrete uh, just down the highway on our ready mix. And then Blevins Asphalt, uh, who constructed a, a new plant up at the, near the intersection of uh, Jim River Freeway and Highway 60, uh, low bidder on the asphalt. <clears throat> the one um, unusual issue this year, we did not get uh, good competitive bids for our uh, fabricated sand, and that is the sand that we mix with salt and use in our uh, snow and ice control. We got a bid from Clever Stone for masonry sand, um, which is, doesn't have the size of, of uh, uh, the rocks that are, will suit us, and it's much more expensive. Uh, if you look on the bid tab there, I think their, their bid for the masonry sand was 30 some odd dollars a ton. Uh, we're asking council not to award that line item. Uh, we typically, uh, last year's bid was from uh, Springfield Underground at uh, $18 a ton, and if we need to resupply that material, We'll simply go out on the open market and, and solicit bids for each individual purchase. Questions, comments, discussion, Mr. Brown? <coughs> Commissioner Brown, 
we need to make a motion to change that line item? It, it was left off of the Did request. Okay. So, yeah. so we're good. Same question. Yeah, as as Mr. Brock, any alternative on where to purchase the sand outside of maybe his Green County? Um, I know they have bulk material purchasing. They do. Um, typically, um, Conco and, uh, as I mentioned, Springfield Underground, they carry that. Uh, we did not get a bid at all from Conco this year. Uh, they noticed they've closed shop here at the plant closest to us. So I, I think we'll have a couple of avenues open when we need to make those purchases. Okay. Uh, we just recently restocked, still using last year's bid at Springfield Underground. And if the weather will cooperate, we won't need to make another purchase until next fall. Fantastic. So make sure we're ready to go for next year before we get there. Additional questions, comments, discussion for Mr. Fry. Anything at all? Before we get there, you brought it up. Thank you for the plowing that you guys have done. I know it's been tough with the ice down below and the snow on top and the ice on top of that. So appreciate the gentlemen and the work out there. They worked some late hours. I, we did get a uh, note from Chief Himes one at three in the morning. I think one morning, uh, Sunday, Monday morning, a week ago, when the ice really hit, and he was trying to get out of the parking lot at the uh, police station. He act, it was actually plowed at three in the morning. So our guys were out there early. And appreciate you doing it. Uh, coordinated that. Appreciate the guys out there too. So. Thank you, Mayor. I'll make sure they they know that. Please. Anything else, Council? See none. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Any abstentions? Motion carries 7 to 0. Thank you very much. Oh. On the next item, resolution 15 R 12, a resolution of the City Council of the City of Republic of Missouri to approve professional services agreement with Decker and DeGood for annual financial audits for calendar year 2014 and authorizing the City Administrator to execute. Said agreement. Would like to have a motion? Motion. Second. second. Have a motion and second. <coughs> Welcome, Mr. O'Donnell. Give us the overview, sir. Thank you, Mayor. Um, as the city, as the council knows, uh, the firm of Decker and DeGood have been accomplishing our city financial audits and providing other services since 2001. The most recent contract, uh, which is usually a three year agreement, expired with the 2013 audit. And due to the recent transitions in the finance department, um, we have not been able to put together a, uh, a new three year agreement. What Mr. Krischke and I are proposing is a, a bridge agreement of sorts to cover the 2014 audit at the same amount of audit fees as last year. Uh, once the 2014 audit is complete, we will work on a new three-year agreement covering the next three years of audits. Thank you. Questions, comments, discussion? Mr. Clickenbeard? Um, have they agreed to accept the same payment levels then? Uh, Mr. Krischke did talk with uh, Marshall Decker, and they have agreed to keep the price the same. Excellent. Thank you. Will our next three-year agreement be going through the open bid process? Will you be soliciting business elsewhere? I believe, according to the, um, as a matter of fact, to the, I'll speak to the resolution itself, wherein professional auditing services are a um, <coughs> are an exemption from the competitive bidding process. Um, speaking to purchasing policy section 4.1b. Um, competitive bidding procedures that exempts services of individuals possessing a high degree of professional skill as being exempt from the bid process. So does that mean we're not going to shop around? We're just going to stick with one company? Considering that uh, Decker and DeGood have been doing the audits for the, um, like I say, since 2001 and are very familiar with the operations and procedures, and I believe Mr. Decker has um, uh, provided quite a few other valuable services at no cost to the city. Uh, it is recommended that we go forward, at least with the bridge agreements, sure. and then if we want to discuss the bid process, I'm sure Council would want to uh, put input into that, but I'm just pointing out, whereas this is one of those um, professional services that would be exempt from the bidding process. Let me just say this too, Mr. Mendez, Mr. Uh, Mr. Decker has been doing this 
a long time. A long time. Sure. It, the contract actually, I think we started in 2001 with the official contract, but he has been our auditor with Ms. Poole when she was mayor, I think. Was, he's 90 been around. 90 to 92. He was 90 to 92. So he's been around a long time. It's pretty good to have consistency, but then again, if council would like to go down the path of uh, farming that out that or sending out business fine too. Mr. Krischke also has, under that policy, has the right to, if he thinks that they're not doing a good job or it's a problem, he can negotiate with anyone. Correct. It's just that he can do it without sending out bid processes. He can kind of do what he feels best in that area because it's a professional service. Um, you'd have to save significantly and get a huge plus to move away from someone as familiar with what they're doing. It's sure. As yeah. possible, and but good question. good question. And I understand the bridge. Just want to make sure we're doing our due diligence. Sure. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, it's nice that they've continued at the same rate to bridge us over that gap, too. If it was a 2001 rate, it would be even better, but I'm a marshal too well. <laughs> <laughs> Additional questions, comments, discussion? These are all great questions. He's saving gas on the way out here this year. He's driving a Honda. He's <laughs> not saving. He's got plenty of gas saving. <laughs> Additional further comments, questions? I'm good. All, right. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Any abstentions? <laughs> motion carries, Mr. Ryan. Thank you. <laughs> Council members, thank you very much. Audience, thank you. Uh, I'd like to have a motion to adjourn. Motion. motion. Second. <laughs> Jeez. Have a motion in three seconds. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Any abstentions? You might want to stay. You didn't have to press the carries. <laughs> no, I should. <laughs> Me and Jared, thank you very much. Mr. O'Donnell, you should have your email. <laughs> <laughs>